are going to start second part of chapter the street games of india know that the writer of the chapter is mulk raj anand he recalls the game which he played in his childhood he was interested in playing street games he played goli aankh micholi lattu and kabaddi he cherished one of his oldest memories of playing game goli the game is played with marbles another game he enjoyed the most was aankh micholi in this one player is blindfolded and the other players hit themselves in different places and the blindfolded player had to look for them so in this way we had learned about two games goli and aankh micholi in the first part now we are going to read page number i had to wait till i was over 10 years old before i learned the skill of spinning a lattu or top this game requires a deft hand and enough pocket money to buy the tops made of mud or wood a string is wrapped around the lower part of the lattu this is tossed to the ground with a hard jerk and the string is released causing the lattu to spin and spin i remember saving up my pocket money to buy my first lattu but i swung it clumsily and the beautiful earthen top broke afterwards i practiced with a small wooden one and eventually learned to toss the earthen ones without breaking them now the writer recalls the game of lattu lattus are made of mud or wood lattu is a fast game and it requires skillful hand to toss it to the ground with just a jerk of the hand it should be tossed correctly and it is wonderful to watch the writer is saying he learned the skill at the age of 10 when he was 10 years old he remembers how he saved his pocket money to buy his first lattu but he swung it carelessly and the beautiful earthen lattu made of mud top broke and then he practiced with a small wooden when i was 14 i was allowed to join the kabaddi team to play kabaddi you must be quick and strong you also need the ability to hold your breath for long and to be a master of battle tactics since playing this game is almost like real warfare children the next game writer is talking about kabaddi when he was 14 years old he was allowed to join kabaddi team to play kabaddi one must be quick and strong one should have the ability to hold breath for long and master of battle tactics means he must be a planned fighter playing this game is like fighting in a war a line is drawn on sand or soft earth two teams with five or 10 players or more stand on either side of the line a member of one team crosses the line chanting kabaddi under his breath without stopping if he is able to touch one or two players from the opposing team while saying kabaddi the person he touches is dead the visitor then runs back to his side however if the visitor is caught or he stops saying kabaddi he is dead the teams take turns to visit each other until all the members of one team are dead i learn how to hold my breath and i developed some daring but i could not survive for too long before being taken as a prisoner of war in a game of kabaddi a member of one team crosses a line in the sand and goes towards the other team chanting kabaddi kabaddi under his breath without stopping if he is able to touch one or two players from the opposing team while saying kabaddi the opposing team person he touches is dead the visitor then runs back to his side 
If the visitor is caught or he stops saying kabaddi, he is dead. The team take turns to visit each other until all the players of one team are dead. In a game, after reading the chapter, we came to know that just like games, we have rules for everything we do in our life. We will not hurt ourselves or others if we follow rules. Rules help everyone get an equal opportunity.